Hi, everyone. Merry Christmas, Striganona. Story and pictures by Tommy Di Coppola. Um, we love Striganona stories, don't we? If you haven't heard the original Striganona, go and find it and listen to it. It is so adorable. She is a magical witch, but she is pretty funny too. So let's see what this one is like. Streganona's Christmas. It's a 3.7 accelerator reading level story. It was the first Sunday of Advent and everyone in the little town of Calabria was busy getting ready for Christmas, including Streganona, Grandma Witch. She was busy getting everything ready for the Christmas Eve feast that she prepared every year. Big Anthony, who worked for Streganona, was being kept busy too. Anthony, said Streganona, don't dawdle. There are only four weeks to Natal, Christmas, and there is so much to do. The whole house must be cleaned, and there is so much cooking and baking to do. After all, everybody in town will be here. Why can't Bambalona help? whined Big Anthony. Bambalona was the baker's daughter, who had come to stay with Streganona and learn her magic. Bambalona has gone to help her father in the bakery, answered Streganona. With Christmas coming, the poor baker was in such trouble, with so many people asking for special cakes and cookies that he didn't even have time to sit in the square with his friends. Bambalona and Streganona felt sorry for him, so Streganona sent Bambalona home to help. Why don't you help the baker out with your magic, Streganona, asked Big Anthony. No, not at Christmas, said Streganona. Now go shake out those feathered beds. Anthony, said Streganona, run down the hill to the town and get me a new broom so we can sweep the house from top to bottom. Oh, Streganona, said Big Anthony, can't we sweep the house with magic? Not at Christmas time, said Streganona. So Big Anthony went down the hill to get a new broom. Streganona worked hard cleaning the house from top to bottom as the days of Advent went by. Each week she lit one more candle on the Advent wreath. And each day she sent Big Anthony on an errand down to the town. New brooms, new candles, new curtains, new bed covers, new tablecloth. Anthony, said, Big An said Streganona, run down the hill and get me the bacala, a dried codfish for the Christmas stew. And when you get back, put it in the tub with the water to soak. Soak it? asked Big Anthony. Yes, answered Streganona. Every day until Christmas Eve, you must change the water so the fish will be nice and soft and not too salty for the Christmas stew. Can't you magic do all that? asked Big Anthony. No, no magic at Christmas time, said Streganona. Christmas has a magic of its own. So Big Anthony set off down the hill. Hello, Big Anthony, said the townspeople. How's Streganona? Oh, said Big Anthony, she's very busy getting the house ready for Christmas. Every day she sends me to town to get something. Every day she has me help her clean windows, shake out beds, paint the goat shed. She's getting ready to cook all kinds of things. I have to soak the codfish, the bacala, and change the water every day until Christmas Eve, and I'm tired. Don't you know that Streganona loves Natal Christmas? A man from town asked. That's why she's so busy. Why she doesn't even have time to cure headaches and make love potions or get rid of warts. Every year she cleans her house and prepares for the big feast and invites everyone, said the woman. She invites everyone, asked Big Anthony. Everyone, said the woman. Why, it wouldn't seem like Natal without the feast at Streganona's house. Hello, Big Anthony, said Bambalona, who was on her way to the bakery. Are you in town to buy Streganona a Christmas gift? Oh, Bambalona, I want to talk to you about that, said Big Anthony. One by one, the days went by, and finally 
It was the day of Christmas Eve, la Vigila, la Villa di Natal. Now, Anthony, said Streganona, here is a long list of things for you to get for me. Flour, eggs, butter, spices, pepper, olive oil, sugar. Hurry down the hill and hurry right home again, for I have all kinds of things to cook and bake. Oh, Streganona, Big Anthony complained, can't you use... No magic at Christmas time, said Streganona. Now go, I have to decorate the house with the lemon blossoms and periwinkle. Streganona waited and waited. No Big Anthony. Finally, the sun began to set and Big Anthony came whistling up the hill with empty hands. Anthony, said Streganona, standing in the doorway of her little house. Where have you been? Oh, Streganona, there was a Christmas puppet show in the town square. It came all the way from Venice up north. And where are all the things from my list? Oh, Big Anthony said, I forgot. Anthony, what am I going to do? It's Christmas Eve. There will be no cookies. <gasps> no see any? Fried pastry, no roasted peppers. Oh, well, go and get me the bacala so I can at least make the fish stew. Big Anthony came back holding the codfish. It was as stiff as a board. <gasps> I forgot this too, said Big Anthony. I forgot to soak it in water. Oh, Big Anthony, won't you ever learn, cried Streganona. Now it is too late to prepare anything to eat for the feast. There's always your magic pasta pot, said Big Anthony timidly. No, I've told you before, no magic at Christmas, said Streganona. There will be no Christmas feast at Streganona's this year. Streganona sent Big Anthony to tell everyone not to come to her house for the feast. She looked at the lemon blossoms and periwinkles decorating the house. Outside she heard Zampagoni, the shepherds of Abruzzi, who came all the way to Calabria to sing Christmas songs. The bells rang. It was time for the midnight mass. Sadly, Streganona went down the hill to the church. A fine Christmas this would be with no company, no feast. The townspeople whispered as she went into the church. No feast, said one. Poor us, said another. Poor Streganona. When the mass has ended, Streganona went up to the big manger scene in the church. There, beside the Virgin and St. Joseph, lay the Holy Child. Ah, bambino, said Streganona, the night you were born, it was not like this manger scene with all these people. You were all alone with your mama and St. Joseph, all alone, just like Streganona is tonight. Uh, anyway, happy birthday, bambino, and bom natal. And Streganona slowly left the dark church and climbed the hill to her little house. She opened the door and the room burst into light. Bon Natal! Merry Christmas, Streganona! Everyone cried. This year we're giving you a feast. Look, said Babylona, codfish stew, roasted peppers, cookies, and fried pastry. Oh, Bambalona, said Streganona, did you do all this for Streganona? No, Streganona, said Bambalona. Big Anthony planned the whole surprise. <gasps> Bravo, Big Anthony, everyone shouted. Merry Christmas, Streganona, said Big Anthony. Oh, Anthony, said Streganona, you have learned and with no magic. It's just like you said, Streganona, Big Anthony smiled. Christmas has a magic of its own. The end.